I'm sorry. I guess you're not gonna get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a deputy mayor. I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything and here I am. Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, oh, is awesome. She always knew what to do and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbeth came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. One day, Lisbeth went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. It was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. They couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbeth might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody will listen to me, but, but you? You're pretty good at stuff, and, well, Nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right, good luck, buddy. <laughs> Hey! An interview. All right, but keep it short. I got... <laughs> Wambus Troubleham, farmer. To start a farm? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Pesky, tasty, confusing. Well, they ain't animals and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. None of my dang business. <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. Doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again, or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel. Liz's partner. 
I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug Snacks gotta sleep too.
Gee, you really got them all. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Befica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. When this guy is married, see ya. Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. <laughs> Shishka, Shishka. <laughs> Oh, wow. How'd the ship get here? Oh, there's a balloon? Huh. You know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded. But I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'd love to fly it someday. Bye! Nothing like getting toasted. Here's to a hard day's work. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before, fresh and gooey-like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. <laughs>
Yeah, farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted, but I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy, I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10, perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town, bestie. Oh, 
Thank you kindly. I'll get those bug snacks growing. You'll see. Oh, hey, what's up? I thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. <laughs> I'm Befika Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. Let's just say, I'm an information specialist. I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. So cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Ugh, there's drama and then there's drama! We have too many Geminis around here and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. Uh, hey! My cave was sweet! Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then, he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible, but she does have one weakness. Egabelle. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Liz and Egabelle got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. 
And if I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie.
only got hurt because you were getting snacks for me. Fine if I wasn't around. Don't say that. I need you, Bill. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. I'm here for you. The world can suck an egg. I know what'll make you feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. I fall to pieces without you. Snacksburg is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. What a meritless question. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Agabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. Somebody who asks questions rather than answering them. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> This is the Snacktivator. Feed me Strabby. Poke Snacktivator in foot. Foot turns into Strabby. Understand? <coughs> Intriguing. Very good. I will allow you to field test the Snacktivator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further.